Hey, 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 Sherry Brown here, coming at you from SherryBrownCoaching.com. How to deal with the haters. I heard a great, great quote today. Stop trying to explain yourself to people who are committed to not understanding you. Here's the thing, you know, it's okay if someone doesn't understand you or agree with your decision. You know, you've got to be okay with that. So if you can get past that initial criticism of people who don't get you joining the industry, then you might start to see some success going on, right? Well, I am going to go ahead and let you guys know what's going to happen when you start seeing success in your business, okay? What's going to happen is more haters are going to surface, okay? The haters are going to hate. And know that the bigger that you start playing, the more haters you're probably going to start getting there will always be people who are jealous, mad, upset, and they simply just don't like to see others succeed. There is a big difference between constructive criticism and somebody who's just downright rude and nasty. Typically, when the haters come out and people are nasty, it really has nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them. You know, it's always easy for people to sit here and lash out at others versus looking at themselves and what they need to work on. People seem to criticize those who are going against the grain and doing something different because sitting here and being an entrepreneur and being in the network marketing industry, that's not really the normal. The normal is getting a regular job, working your nine to five until you're 60, 70 years old and then you retire. I just want you, if you're in this profession and you're doing something that's not normal, be proud of yourself for taking charge of your life. Be proud of yourself for being different. You know, celebrate that. Don't let other people's opinions pull you down and keep you out of action. If you're playing big, you're gonna have haters. There's going to be trolls with goals who try to bring you down. Don't let them, you know? And one way to become, I think my biggest tip on becoming, on how to become unmessable is the fact that, you know, a lot of it comes down to belief. Belief in yourself, belief in your company, um, and belief in what you're doing. If you have belief in what you're doing and you believe in yourself, so much to the point of, you know, what you're doing would be like someone trying to convince you that they can beat you to the gas station if they're on a bike and you're in a car. Because you're going to be like, what? You know, like, you're crazy. You've got to have that kind of belief if you want to become unmessable in this business. Because it is tough. It's not easy. And a lot of people don't understand it. And they don't get it. A tip that I would have for you is to get around people who are inspiring you. Get around people who want the same things as you, who have the same goals. Get around people who are going to challenge you to become better and step outside of your comfort zone and, and to be better. Those are my best tips for you guys. And if you guys found value in this, feel free to share it out. If you guys like these tips and you'd like more, feel free to visit my website, sherrybrowncoaching.com. See you then. Bye.